Let's go into the grand final. It's best of five. We started 0-0 zero, zero on last refuge. Hawk versus Foggy. Two of the CIS in Europe's finest in a night elf versus human against each other. Hawk still without a team. Time to pick him up. Foggy for Sparks Esport. They actually fought side by side trying to get into WGTL. That didn't work out. But in solo competition, they represent our continent very, very well. Hawk from Russia, also 30 years old. I know that feel. Against Foggy, one of the most successful Western players. One of the very, very few players that broke into the very, very top tier in the past six years. Yeah, it was uh, fascinating to see his story progress style out in Europe. Foggy did in 2013, 14, more like 14, with very gimmicky strats, uh, massing and proxy pushing and uh, expanding greedily, but has really ripened into a world-class player who can play any style and who has been in WGL Grand Finals twice. No title, unfortunately, for him, but still made it very far. Hawk, a very strong player in his own right, but hasn't had the same success, especially hasn't had the same international success that Foggy has been able to enjoy. What is this dude? It's Last Refuge. It's a warden. It's an engine of war at the merc at the shop. Yeah. This is the new thing that knights have been doing. You put the first Ancient of War at the risky camp because the second one might be getting cancelled there. But if you put the first one there, then normally you should be able to secure the creeps for yourself unless the AM wants to play hyper-aggressive and wants to run across the map with level 1, which comes with its own dangers. Of course, it's going to keep you stuck on level 1 forever. You're not going to have brilliance. And if you don't find good damage to be dealt to the enemy Night Elf, it can be very problematic indeed. Hawk doesn't scout it. He moves to the Players priests, to the murlocs, and now there's a big question mark. He sees the engine of war, pulls the creeps, may, well, pulls the creeps, <laughs> and now can he cancel this? Pretty likely, but he can't prevent this creep anymore. Should be costing quite a bit of Wisp repair. One of mana steel for the warden. Not bad. Cancelled. Engine of war. Bottom. Yeah. Let him set it up again. At least like half a minute delay though. That is a big deal. This ancient. Barely surviving. Okay. Level 2 unlocked. Footman chasing some Wisps in the main. An Archmage creeping up with water elemental usage. Expo coming. Is Foggy gonna attack or is he gonna go Hunter Solim? That's the question here. He's gonna get the footman as well. That's more experience. How oh. much of a confidence booster is this uh, semi final win against Happy? Usually against Foggy in recent history, didn't look too hot. Maybe it's a different Hawk today. Yeah, I looked up the stats earlier. Historically, these two, of course, have met so many times, being two of the top dogs in Europe. They met, in fact, 70 times. And 77% of the matches went in Foggy's favor. So, he has been having the upper hand for a long time. Shout out to Puch in chat for me, uh, Foggy's uh, former coach. Of course, it is fine if you restream us. Have fun, my man. Thank you, Steam Plague, for the five month resub. Love you guys. Happy off race and human mirror is awesome. Indeed, especially on Twisted. That was pretty wonderful. One level three. Oh, not yet. A little premature. There we go. Oh, Archer. Miss rallied. Is she actually gonna survive? Ooh, lucky girl. Only maybe though. Foggy's gonna fall back to the main moon juice up and then run across. Oh, Hawk doesn't have the lumber here for a little bit, so the power build stops Ooh. because he's trying to keep this wisp from entering the main. Yeah, Melissa, uh, Melissa use it here. Another Archer Miss Rally. Another save? 
Ooh, yeah. A player's forces are under attack. Arcane Tower here is finished. One fan immediately shadow melted. Shadow strike and fan. One Moonwell in the main is certainly going to be lost for Foggy. He's remaking them in the back. No Hunter's Hall yet, by the way. But can't go to Lords too quickly, which I think he would want to. Tower down. Thank you, Glockenbeat, for the sub. A little SSEO fan there, right? And Moodoo for the 19 month with a tier 2 sub. Thanks for the great cast today. Thank you for the long time sub. Much love. Thank you, guys. He's just saying Glockenbeat. He's just saying Gottverdammter Glockenbeat. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Second hero time. Naga would fit quite nicely now. Tinker! Whoa! Oh. Early rockets! Could it even be Pocket Factory. It is Pocket Factory. It's like the game back then against Fortitude on Jernal Stand. You know that's my one of my favorite matches of all time. Daytime is coming soon though. And the Moonjo is looking pretty rough. But so is this economy, this expansion. Oh, so much pressure on Hawk. A lot of damage with these clockworks. Haven't seen clockworks used well in a long time. But Foggy Man, big friendship with this Tinker. Yeah, here they work up perfectly. Warden getting some more kills. Do we have any lores? Not really, more archers coming. Hunt Soul on the high ground. Not cancelled. Foodie's hurt. Very hurt. And the Tinker is just tearing down this town hall. Town Hawk is attacking, but super expensive. And it's not like this Knight of Army doesn't do well if it goes late game. Yeah. Like, Tinker, Warden combo. Oh, is he surrounded by his own Pocket Factory? Oh, not quite. <laughs> Okay, okay, Hawk is saving this town hall. He is surrounded. No. Nah. Sowing time. He will probably die. Warden comes in for the rescue. Has a staff. Can't pass it though. Wait. The Tinker's surviving. Is he? No way. Clockworks over here. Okay. Shop coming up, lore coming up for Foggy. Tinker is dead though, but only level one. Oh, Warden one. gets one kill! Good saves by Hawk. What? AM, what? Ooh, can he make it? Oh my. <laughs> Yeah. A player's course again once again. Attack. No defense here on these footies. They get sniped out quite easily by these archers. Tinker's gonna be back real soon. Taking out the towers constantly. That is pretty sick plays by Foggy. Yeah, Warden about to hit four here. She needs two more footies for the level up. But the Zeppelin. Yeah. This Zeppelin's the lifesaver. Yeah. A little. Dwarf as the pilot, what a hero. Take her back. Pocket factory in a moment. And not much mana in general. Militia used again, but they <sighs> fall into the fan trap. Level two Tinker. Becomes a little bit stronger now with the passive. More right clicks on this Archmage. Lots of anti air possibly against the Zeppelin down the road. He's focusing on the towers though. Archmage baiting some attacks. Footman all so hurt. And so many clockworks. So, so, so many clockworks. It's falling apart here for Hawk. I don't want this game to end. He's tier 2. MK is almost ready. Hawk needs to stay alive. 
Yeah, but that's a Shadow Strike. Not baiting it. Oh, now we have Riots as well. Uh-oh. Waiting for the fan, huh? Okay. One one two build. Actually. Mountain King. Oh, MK. Oh, oh that blink disjoints. <laughs> Insane game. I am so happy about this game already. Yeah, really good performance here that both these players are showing us. Forget you too. Yeah, Foggy did so much damage. He doesn't even have... To, he, I think he might be able to counter-expand if he wants, but... Hawk would be nice to get level 5 first. Hawk needs healing ASAP. Blacksmith is ready, but Hawk is super low on lumber. He's ultimately low on lumber. And here comes Foggy pushing again. Yeah, and it's ultimately important that Foggy always was able to keep these towers from coming up. If there yeah. was three towers here, this would be a whole different story. Yeah. Someone on the Tinker, but... He's hella tanky with the four armor. And the abolish now so strong. Heal scroll! Oh, how wonderful. He even has a staff now. Can block with the Tinker. That's a kill. Fan of knives, spears, Zeppelin for once to lay GG by hard. Damn cool game. Foggy takes LR with the warden into Tinker play. First surprise of the final. And it made so much sense in that situation. He pressured the expansion well, he cancelled the towers. Hawk was spread thin all over the place. Footies weren't in fighting shape anymore. Couldn't deal with the pocket factory easily. And then there was continued pressure always against the expansion. Always ensuring no towers would be coming up. Very, very well done. Froggy. Looking forward to game two. Hawk's map choice now, of course. And game is already up. Oh. Not yet, but soon. Terranus. Hog with Terranus, okay. Well, we know what's coming. MK versus Warden. Question is, who executes it better? And considering that the Warden was so well played already on LR, which is one of the worst maps. It's freaking scary. Yeah. Blade tried a... Uh... MK no expo tier two push here earlier today. Foggy oh yeah, that was funny. <laughs> Foggy defended that as well. Yeah, that was a weird game. Normally, games here on Terra stand for the first six minutes at least follow a very predictable path, and that is MK Warden. Human with a fast expo, and then with level 3, be aggressive somewhere with a staff, probably. Is that what we're going to be seeing? Or will there be a surprise? Foggy, this night elf monster versus human. Will he break a sweat? Will Hawk challenge him? Or will it be the 2 0 oh, and 3 match points? Let's find out. God, I love that stinger so much. So far, so standard. No tavern build. Ancient at the Merc Camp. What is it for Hawk? Does he have some special tricks up his sleeve? Anything other than MK first here would be a surprise. Hawk plays a lot of netties, though. He's very familiar with the meta there. So I am pretty sure it's going to be MK here as well. MK and Warden. The late game carries for these two races. Yeah, this could be a very long game. It's an MK. It's a Warden. It's exactly what we expected. Where do we go from here? Merc Camp Creep should be the first thing to see here. Potion of Greater Mana. Of course, always the dream item here. Even after the nerf, still certainly very good. And especially for these heroes, still certainly the best item. 
Primo, your uh, number one fan has resubscribed. Thank you, Mr. Donald Trump, Trump fan MAGA with a six month resub. Remo, my second favorite person of all time. Thank you. Wow, ancient, second ancient already at the merchant. Oh, yeah, it's super early. A player's forces are under attack. Wants to ensure it's not going to get cancelled by the footy, I guess. But that costs a lot of lumber. Like, the earlier you use this Wisp to put down the Ancient of War, that's a lot of Lumber you're missing out on. Can Hawk get a steal? Shadow Priest is available. Oh, I got it! At least one. Yeah, Potion yeah, of Greater one. Mana, though. We cancels this attack. That's uh, the knight level two. MK scroll the beast. All right, militia sent back, and then soon to be coming back in again for the natural. Do we have triple cloak here? We have quad cloak. <laughs> Hide forever. Because something is coming up in chat, and it really annoys me. I will point this out. Happy declined the invitation for the WGL qualifiers. He declined it because he uh, doesn't feel he want to play on the high ping. Not because WGL never paid him. WGL always paid. Just takes a little time and it's a little complicated. But WGL always paid. Please stop talking shit about WGL. That would be really nice. So the World Level 3 is going to be a little delayed here. Needs the green camp after this. MK already achieved it. Dependent of energy and tele staff, and off we go across the map. This is what I was talking about. Pretty much this is the standard of Terranus nowadays. And oftentimes this ends up with a knight of losing a lot of units, but the Warden staffs over in return. Wow. However, no level 3 yet. Thank you Light Echo for the 16 month resub. Nice fan, but damage well distributed. Only four targets on level one. Gonna have to use the blink here to get into the bag, yeah. That's a lot of mana gone already. Mountain King has not much to work with on the other side, though. No one stopping really low. Big mana used. It's really not that many kills so far. MK is coming. He wants to blink fan one more time. Oh, so risky. Uh, MK knows exactly where she is. Level 3, blink fan, nice. And uh, out of range of the storm bolt. Well done. <clears throat> Alright, Foggy does get the damage he wants. Was only possible because of the big mana potion. Certainly a little lucky with that. Yeah. And just blinks out. Wow, not even the town portal. Hawk was on the way to get the dust. He got a pendant in the end, though. Also not too bad. Expansion coming now for Foggy, but it's far away from finished. And this could absolutely get cancelled. Oh, Foggy, what are you doing with your units here? What? No second storm bolt, but in a bit, this berserker might fall as well. Can he save him somehow? Boom! Nope. But how early is this expo harass? And how effective? Yeah, no kills here. All the peasants survive. So might the expansion for Foggy. He's blinking in there again. No, I can't. Alright, fan, a few more kills. He can still creep his natural and he will in a bit. Did he always blast through his mana? So crazy. Yeah. 
Expo 50%, Engine of War in position, second Engine of War saved for the bottom left. A player's forces are under attack. But pretty good game so far by Hawk. Yeah, I agree. That one footy lasted actually had a big impact. On this level, everything matters. Illusion checked out the main. One moves back. Tier 2 has been reached. Double lore shop. But yeah, creeping is a little delayed. I think Hawk should go for the lab right now. Go for the lab, go for the zap. Maybe the shredder. Yeah, and he's going to the Night of Lab. That's pretty smart. Because at daytime, the Zeppelin becomes available. And that makes a big difference. Again, one using so much mana. It's around! It's oh, I could staff. Could be bolted again. That's the TP. Uh. <sighs> Stressful games. Not going so well for Foggy at all. Still okay, I guess. He will be getting level 4 at the natural. He will probably get this Expo Hawk's tech is still a little further away. But yeah, the TP loss is big. Has to be careful now. A player's forces are under attack. Yeah, and creeping the natural is by no means safe. If Hawk comes in there for the creep jack. Which looks like is where he's going, maybe. Foggy using fan of knives to creep. To fasten up this process just a little bit. Engine of war. Oh, pen up energy. Woohoo! Hawk moving more confidently across the map though. Tier 2 is ready for him as well. Blacksmith a little late. But maybe he just wants to go for tanks and then everything should be fine. Zeppelin and distraction. Is that his play? Sobi mask! <laughs> the mana items on this map. I should definitely go for the Zep here. Wait. He already got it to play defensively. Hmm. Isn't that overly careful when the warden is so far away from five? A player's forces are under attack. Mm. Yeah, rest of the army looks good. He could at least cancel the entangled gold mine once. Tier three is about to finish, and then Foggy can really get a lot of experience. That's why he's going all these riots here with the slow. He has map control and can uh, pick off targets potentially. Clap early. Only got one wisp for it. That was a little bit of a waste. But better burn your mana and kill one unit than just getting your mana burned. Why are you going for his own Zeppelin? He wants to drop into the main, but Hawk possibly was reading this play. He's got towers up already. A third tower coming up now. This might become a little more problematic once the Shredder uh, did some work to the tree lines. But so far, good. Blood Mage out. Castle Tech started. <laughs> Bear Master at 50%. Creeping is so fast now. Yeah, if all he wants to get level 5 quickly, then go for Tinker, creep him up, and the Warden keeps on jumping around the bases. And this drop is essential in getting that level 5. Well, let's try to get this shredder then. Ease pickup for Foggy. Forces the TP back. It's double workshop, by the way. This uh, smells like tanks to me. Also a uh, sanctum. Get a fan hurts. Does he have a heal scroll? No heal scroll. Oof. Careful. Big mana potion on the Mountain King, of course. Because <laughs> why not? So much clap. Man, is he burning through his mana. Good Zeppelin. But for how long? Uh-oh. Stumble connects. 
Really? Really, it, Foggy? Really? No, no TP! Just blink. a staff and blink! It slowed the MK! Ooh. Oh, no Jesus. block coming from the main. That could have been the kill right here. Level, five, level 5 now. Oh my god. <laughs> Sick place. That cost a couple of dryads, though. Foggy the dryads! Foggy lost uh, his control group. Looks like he's disconnected. Nope. Fair play by Hawk. Shout out for that. That was a now fast M2. And now I wouldn't be surprised to see a Tinker. Breaker Mortars, by the way. Hmm. Hmm. Double Workshop Mortars. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Warden games continue. And now it's really powerful. Hawk with the Zeppelin a little late. And now everything's safe. Yeah, how to stop her progress to level 6. Well, the Zeppelin plus the MK support did do pretty well. There was only three peasants lost. Not too bad. Siege. Nature's Blessing coming, Abolish coming, Knight's coming as well for Hawk now. Ooh. Did, does he save everything? What? Next Blink fan. Might hurt though. Yep. Get three kills. And one Workshop killed. Typical Foggy TS play. This dates back to like five years ago. Wait a minute. This one is... Ah, oh, blinking out. Can't reach for the Stormwall. This dates back five years to the Foggy Fortitude games when he knew, okay, Fortitude was playing tanks all the way. And then he started to kill workshops as early as he could. And he won. Yeah, we've seen no tanks here from Hawk just muscling up into a strong army, apparently. Here comes the Tinker now. All right. If he gets the top right, there should be level 3 then for him, which is a pretty good start. No Shredder for Foggy, by the way. This is a continuing Lumber concern for the Night Elf. Scroll the Beast again. Can sell it. Frag Shards. But this all takes a little longer. This delays Hawk's 80 supply. He's also supply stuck. No farm finishing, but Foggy's helping with that. He's freeing up some supply. Only gets the one, though. When you know there's Zeppelin, ideally you want to have, along with this Warden, a single Hippogriff to put pressure on the Zepp. But okay, even if he doesn't get the kills, at least it's lost mining time. Costs Hawk a bit of gold. Finally, Hawk got his second Shredder. Losing that one would be really painful. Lumber also a concern for him. For upgrades, this stings a little. A player's force is on. Gyrocopter for scouting, sees level 3. Oh, foggy. Wait. Oh, okay, he cancelled the talent. He had talent in queue, so it seemed like he was really expecting tanks, but cancelled and is going fairies. Should I tell you again how good crow form talents are against griffins, maybe? Now you can tell me when we see Griffins. I will, I will. <laughs> it was this map, just saying. Hog's levels are looking really good. Blood Mage 3 already? Yeah. MK5, cool. Pally 2. Especially the Blood Mage 3 for the level 2 Siphon is super strong. I'm looking so forward to this ultra late game fight. No tank, lame shenanigans. Dude. Talon Adept Upgrade. Come on! Why though? Because I told you. Awesome! <laughs> Wait, is he going Talons to counter the gyros, there's, which are supposed to counter the fairies? There's no priest, he can't dispel. That could be Cyclone play. Yeah, there's no priest, by the way, so the sustain on this 
human army is not too high. This is speaking of not too high. This army is not too big. This is uh, this is looking laughable. Two knights, five breakers, one mortar team. Clap is good. Level five MK is very good. Not sure if he can go with this last upgrade. Cluster rocket lagging again, unfortunately. Should be fixed soon. And this clap is so sick. Uh, but Hawk has to TP out. Couple of kills. Man, that heal ward was pretty damn good. Double heal scroll by the Tinker. That was just too much region. And normally, behind pushes like these, we see humans going for a third base. If we see the top dogs on Nettie's play it. But no third base here. For Hawk, there is in fact a wisp in position for Foggy to scout for such a possibility. But nothing to be seen yet. Foggy for the, with a 3-0 upgrade coming. 3-1 upgrade coming. Yeah. How does he still have so much lumber? He doesn't have a shredder. <laughs> lumber, I guess just plenty of wisps. You still there? One five and a half, still pretty far away from six. <sighs> I got a PowerPoint. But the frag shards me. hurt. Need to be careful. They didn't expand an AP by Foggy. Perfectly timed as the priests are coming in. Uh, priests, the peasants. And then expansion up the right. Love this. No MGs at all, right? Not a single mountain nope. giant. But Talon Master upgrade. It's gonna cyclone the hell out of Hawk. There's no spell. What can you do? He's not gonna have that many talents, but uh, yeah, a few, I guess. A player's forces are under attack. He has one cyclone. Okay, clap is once again pretty good, but for how long? Disables the MK, so he can't clap that much, but on heroes it doesn't last too long. Oh, the frag shards, though! Sick AoE! Mortar's also getting hit pretty hard with a fan of knives and the rockets on top. But no rockets at the moment. The Tinker slowed down. The Tinker's completely drained. Great job here with the Siphon Mana. And the MK now can be given all that mana. Yeah, and there yeah. we go. And that's more clap against these bears. Hawk perhaps turning this fight around. Big heal scroll as well. A Warden eating a Stormbolt but getting staffed out. Needs to come back in quickly though with a staff. He wants to have a chance in this fight. Fairy Fire turned on. This could be returned by the Breakers. Oh, wow, that's pretty big. Warden comes back in. Hawk with 65 supply, one ru Warden to rule them all. But with Siphon, that's not too easy. Already down to like 30% mana again. And this feeds the MK so hard. Oh, you're gonna hate on that talent play so much when the game is over. Yeah, I mean, could have worked. What I think was a bigger problem there by Foggy was, uh, especially the Tinker positioning, not being very good. Tinker's not supposed to be in the front line. Tinker's supposed to be standing in the back and throwing rockets from range. And fan again, so fast with the siphon over and over. Oh, level four. Tree still standing with 200. Can Foggy hold this? That would be the absolute wildest thing. Everything's so hurt though, and the MK is being. Fat again, Stormbolt, clap, right click, Reno, Knight comes in and that's the kill. Oh boy, this doesn't look good for Foggy at all, trying to go for the Blood Mage, level 4, banish, sweet, and a staff, double sweet. Level 6 though, and tons of corpses, but no mana. The staff is ready in 10 seconds for the Warden, then she can get back to the Moonwells, Tower's getting cancelled. And now without the Blood Mage here, no there way. is absolutely no mana sustained. What in? What is this hold by Foggy? Hawk still has a lot of supply, but it doesn't look like it. 
And the warden's coming back with Avatar soon. Uh, with some good focus fire, you can kill him more. Holy How? Jesus, Foggy. Just... What? How on earth? He didn't even use Avatar. And now he has it. And the Tinker's and he... halfway back already. And he never killed this tree. He was at 190. He never killed it. That was god tier defense. Foggy now feeling bold. Sees the tanks coming oh, early. So big. If this tank slips through and gets like four shots onto this tree in the north, it's just gone. But like that, it's defendable. Lap still looking good over here. Foggy, did he go a little bit too far? There's no corpses in this fight. Ooh, the next clap. Oh my god. Well, here are your corpses, mate. If he gets the range. Oh, the next clap. Seven second cooldown. Still good. Foggy. You didn't need to go Those that deep. Are under attack. You really didn't need to. Serious sick overcommitment. It's still two base, one base though. Tank has arrived, but there was repair. Avatar. The corpses are all gone though. 90 seconds over. Oh, there's gonna be more corpses soon, I guess. Needs to disable the MK. Tinker's and back. Tink Tinker's back. Tank with fairy fire, easy to deal with. Warden getting drained. Only one fellow knives left. The Avatar taking a lot of damage already. Warden now in focus. Tinker still has a lot of rockets. Disables quite a bit. Especially the Blood Mage. Fairy fire everywhere. Warden comes back in, but she didn't use all of the moon juice. Oh, stop old Tinker dead again. Yeah, the warden didn't use all of her moon juice. She could have gotten way more mana from the main. Mana potion could be a triple kill bottom left. Oh, there we go. One kill at least, but siphon. That's it. No more spells. Level six for the MK as well. Oh my God. Surreal games. Dude, are we blessed with phenomenal Warcraft in the past couple of weeks. Okay, the spirits are back at it. Avatar Vengeance almost dead, but not quite dead. Oh, the Blood Mage! Ah, uh, hold that Oh, nice. that was sweet. Quick reaction. So, next question. How much gold here? 2,700 only for Hawk. Until then, he needs a new base. Everything's low for Hawk. Everything's low mana as well. Yeah. That's a problem, man. When the Blood Mage is out of mana, that's a serious problem. And Foggy holds this again. <laughs> Tree of Eternity making his way over. More Dryads, more Bears, Foggy 50 Supply. Hawk is crazy strong though. Big army, crazy heroes. 2-2 two, two upgrades, 3-2 in the work. And the Tree of Eternity is walking away. Possibly bottom left, which means the staff safe isn't going to be so good anymore. That's true. So. Devotion aura up as well. Mortar teams 1 0. Avatar expiring soon. That's more mana to use and no mana potion. With the talents, there's two cyclones. But, but if you use Avatar, you can't get cycloned. <laughs> That's very true. So will he burst through this tree now? Fully repaired. I love that. 
Oh, Cyclone on the Blood Mage. That's nice. Warden dives deep, goes for the mortar teams again. It's limited damage against buildings. Clap is, of course, super strong, but kind of just a distraction. Mortar's gone. MK still standing. Siphon coming in again. Involved to break it. These knights don't look too hot against the fa uh, the talents, though. Breakers do. Warden in trouble. There's no blank! Stumbled to the head and bye-bye. 500 gold. Not enough for a buyback. Not at all. And this avatar is going to fall as well. Did he finally break him? Level 5 paladin. Level 5 blood mage. 655. Five. This might be it. God Back. damn Boom. it. GG. What a game. What a surreal, surreal game. Is that great that this is 1-1 one, one or what? We get three more. Possibly. Which is, of course, what we're hoping for. Wouldn't have minded if they had kept this game for the last one. <laughs> well, there's more to come, man. Do you know the vetoes? No. But probably concealed from Foggy. I imagine. Echo Isles. Yeah, that makes sense. This has looked to be a pretty strong Warden game these last couple of weeks. Warden map. And Foggy winning with the Warden on LR and losing on Terranus. Of course, the MK first with a Blood Mage combo made all the difference there in the late game. The mana superiority aspect of that hero combo is the big deal. You have lots of mana, you have super powerful spells, and you take the mana away from the enemy side. All right. Foggy is in. Hawk hosted. All the casters are in as well. It's time for game three of this wonderful, wonderful grand final. Two more for each. I'm missing something from you, Remo. Isn't there a sentence that's on the tip of your tongue? Something what? we're down to, maybe? Are we down to a best of three, maybe? We are down to a best of three, Remo. Correct. Can't have a great grand final with a 1-1 one -one score without that sentence. Thank you, Dave. Boy, for the 31 month resub. Woofies. I haven't seen Woofies in a long time. I haven't seen Orcs in a long time. They all got lazy. Yeah, Cash not playing. Bizarre. Apparently lost early, or it was a death win. And Spiral neither. Yeah. Spiral saving strategies for WGL. Long and exhausting game. On map two, but without much further ado, we go into map three. Who's going to claim match point on Echo Isles? We have these two guys fighting for match points indeed. Hawk spawning in the upper left, Foggy in the upper right. It must be a warden again, right? There's no other way. Is it an MK or an Archmage is the question. Yeah, Warden, absolutely what I am expecting as well. Angel of War creep at the Merc can be dangerous. Nowadays, Warden is also seen here on this map quite a bit with double Angel of War, one in the north, one in the south. But Foggy going for the more old school single Ancient at the Merc camp. And if you're left alone here, you can accelerate super quick. Go for the Merc, get level 2, get the Mercenaries, go over to the uh, Murloc camp, get lots of experience there, and then towards the Natural, open up that for an expansion, get the level 3, and hit a nice power spike with the Warden, if it is indeed a Warden. 
Where's the usual food talk? Too professional now with the new logo and stuff. Dude, I'm trying to avoid just thinking about food because I am starving. But we're probably gonna get there. We have a warden here and we have an archmage for Hawk. No MK. Kinda typical for him. We see a few players going Mountain King here, like Jimiko, Sock comes to mind. Yeah, can work, but this map is really bad for triple hero because there's so few creeps to go around. Remember last game, Pally and Blood Mage got off to a great start with lots of creeps in the bottom left. Not really possible here. Plus, with triple hero, oftentimes you want to go to three bases. That's not what we saw last game, but very often that is part of your game plan. And that is, of course, impossible here. Players' forces are under attack. Yeah, Hawk. Not at this creep spot. Not harassing. Not trying to steal immediately. This confirms that it's a warden. And no creeping going on here. Opening up the merc too. So hoping for the claws, of course. Oh, and he gets them as well. Very nice find. AM across the map, pendant of energy. Good one for him as well. Very good items here to start things off with. On this map, it was very common for the Nile to buy pendant of energy at the marketplace and then abuse the moon wells. I wonder if this is still gonna be done with a new pendant of energy. I think in two base, two base, it's certainly still worth it. So we see a two ways, two ways game though. A player's force Hawk are certainly for farm and stuff. Foggy can of course, as a night elf, do everything at the same time. Man, after this crazy tug of war that lasts for like 20 minutes. This feels so calm and peaceful. Just playing PvE. I imagine though Hawk's gonna get a little bit more aggressive soon. Creep the natural, get level 3, set up the expo and then run across. Get the dust, get the boots maybe. And try to put some pressure on this warden who so far has just been freely leveling up. Little by little. You keep on making Oasis references, man. Do you even know? Uh, not really, no. I think you do that to please me, and I enjoy that a lot. Thank you. <laughs> it's uh, more of a coincidence, but uh, yeah, sure. No, it's not! We have boots now for the one, and a lot of damage! New Shadow Strike, and easy walk away. First level three. Claws on the ground, oh man. <laughs> He's got a lot of right click now. Yes. Oh, Ancient of War is probably going to be falling here, but did his job. Did his job very well. The natural can also be crept without that support, I think. Yeah, it's, it's always nice to have, though, because it stalls so much time in the defense if you're waiting for, like, I don't know, another bear, the first mountain giant. The Warden coming back after a stab. An Ascension of War can help you a ton in the defense. Lots of Shadow Strikes being thrown out. Pewter spells as well against the Watch Elementals. More experience for our Warden. Crushing this AM super hard. Yeah. Wants to force the AM to TP away. This is going to be success. We big Shadow oh, Priest. This is the late TP. Uh oh. It's a level 2 Shadow Strike as well. Oh. And there is no shot. Ouch. Was that the perfect threshold? 21 HP? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Probably. That's 7 times 3. Yeah. That's 21. <laughs> One more HP and he would have survived. Oh my god. If he finds the Ring of Region, he survives. Ouch! Okay, that hurts. 
One sees there's an arcane tower. Okay. Oh Archmage back from the tower. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Does he no, have no, no. There's uh, just like two ships in the night. Jesus. It could have been game right here. One rains though. She's gonna get to level four real quick. Mm hmm. That Shadow Strike, what a weapon. And he follows it up with a Tinker and again clock work goblins from the factory. Oh, these right clicks. Again, the. Oh my god, he's getting a tick out again. He's gonna tick out again, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, 21 HP. Not again. Oh, it was 21 HP again. Are you serious? <laughs> out. 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 That hurts. Whee! After a crazy game two, this one was rather one-sided. And that is match points. Foggy, one map away from his first ESL tournament cup, or ESL cup win. The only other players who did this, Hawk, Spiral, please, Terra and Blade. Those double claws, man, they were pretty nice. Yep, Shadow Strike timing is also wonderful. And no healing. And I was wondering, aren't you committing too hard to this AM? There's so many footies around that he could have killed instead. But no, Foggy made exactly the right choice. Of course, a bit of a mistake by Hawk TPing as late as he did. If he had TP'd sooner, that first hero loss wouldn't have happened. This whole game could have been different. We have, by the way, the picks and bands uh, twisted out and Northern Isles out. Northern Isles. Mm -hmm. Huh. What? Why? <laughs> All right. Concealed Hill, a playable. Warden map, but not a very easy one. You're in the player slot, by the way. Oh, sorry. So... Can Hawk come back or will this be the 3-1 victory for Foggy? It would be his first ESL one uh, ESL Open Cup. It would be nice if he wins an ESL one just one day tournament. Alright then. Let's go again. Match points. Amazonia, though. A very different map. This is still Warden. He played it versus played. Yep. But that was a nail biter of a game, my lordy. It can work. Normally, it has to be played in conjunction with a Naga here. Go Shadow Strike plus Naga. Look for pick off kills. This is not going to be a fast expansion by the human. Very likely, at least. So there's not going to be a two-base, two-base game. So it's not going to be so easy to get level five and jump around the map and get peasant kills and so on. Or it could be a keeper. We have seen that before as well by Moon. By Lolliant. Oh, yeah. And returning again to the meta. I haven't seen Foggy with this, though. Still Warden, 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 Warden. Now, on Concealed, I think he's going to play Keeper. But here... Warden. Warden, okay. So, could play this with the Tinker again, could play this with the Naga. Is he going for the second engine of war again? Is that too obvious? Usually Hawk always scouts for it after he got defeated by it in like 5 minutes 50. Yeah, I remember the telly staff. Ooh, that was brutal. That was nasty.
Foggy was blessed with great items in the last game. Is he gonna get these again? Is Fortuna on his side? So Hawk is going for the scout. Can still creep easily. Archmage again. Looks good here so far with the creeps. Foggy sometimes has a tendency to Ancient of War last and deny. I hope not this time. <laughs> Don't jinx him. Claws for both, actually. Warden's luck with the items continues. Oh. Hawk's getting distracted by this wisp. Can Foggy still go for Isn't it very late? Slippers. <laughs> oh my. Okay, Hawk didn't scout this. Is this what's for bait? Is he trying to lure the AM into the metal to start Shadow Strike stuff again? It's pretty smart. Wow. Link Shadow Strike committed, really. There is a cloak this time. And an archer killed. Oh, he got the reveal ready, of course, with stuff at the lab. One is surrounded, though. Yeah. That's the blink out. Very limited mana. Oh my god, so much mana used. Just the Fro whole mana pool. <laughs> Frog block. A but it's bought time for the second Ancient of War. I mean, with those items, it's hard not to try to run at the AM. Yeah. Yeah, he needs a shop now. Use it after the attack and after the defense. <laughs> Claws as well. Oh, there's gonna be lots of damage and lots of money is coming recently from Jay Gats. Every single time you watch, I guess, you're with us now. 15 euro donation. Great work, guys, and great weekend for Warcraft. Go foggy. Indeed, man. We were blessed with some crazy games, and we are blessed with your support. Thank you very much, Jay. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, the tone plus two. Hell yeah. <laughs> what are these damage drops today? Didn't get an energy tome at the first one, unfortunately. Then it would have been max damage. I am. There we go. Shadow strike, right click. Oh, how much fun this must be. Yeah. Level 3 now, bit more HP, and cloak. Reveal, and shadow strike. There's a TP, but does he really want that? Can he dive? Okay, Foggy, how greedy are you? There's no tier 2 yet. Oh, reveal. reveal, far in the back. Can oh. end up here though. Ultra I tilt! I would be so mad, but wait, there's no mana. Yeah, he has to TP out here. Oh my, this keeps on happening. How much gold did he waste, quote-unquote, on scans? 200 or something? Yeah, something like that. But certainly worth it. Three and wow. a half from that kill. Crazy dive. Archmage is back from the tavern. So much gold, right when you want to start your MK. And now TP out. Foggy with the killing spree, man. Jesus, so bloodthirsty. Why is this tech so late, by the way? Uh, second engine of war, boots. Ah, yeah, second engine of war. Yeah, okay. Scans. Of course. Oh, boy. Look at this. Ah, okay, alchemist. <laughs> Reveal. There's more shadow strike. Dude, no way. He's been going smart. What the hell, man? Oh. Reveal, reveal, just scan all oh, the freaking oh. time. I would just leave and... Ooh. That's a rough one, boys. Two games in a row. Hawk's not ready for this. And guess what? The Alchemist will just follow. People laughing about Coil Nova, huh? And say it's OP. Look at this. 
Look at the shadow strike go. Yeah, the Naga might be falling here, but nobody's getting experience for this kill. Oh, oh maybe no. Yeah, oh, did. no. That's a tilt back. Masochistic hog. He's got blink too. He can chase forever. Doesn't even need to. <laughs> oh! Ouch. May I quote one of the greatest esports hosts that we ever had? Brutal, savage, wrecked. Foggy wins the ESL Cup for the first time after 19 editions. Third Night Elf after Please and Happy off racing. Hawk, even after defeating Happy, not taking the gold medal. Must feel really, 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 really bad. But glad for Foggy that he finally took one home. Yeah. Um, seemed to be the better player here in the final between the two. Hawk towards the end felt a little deflated. Maybe mm -hmm. uh, some fatigue was setting in. A few missteps here and there. TP a little bit too late. Positioning a little bit off. Taking a little bit too much damage. But Foggy Dude with some killer instinct here. Yes. Sick. Relentless. He wanted this win really hard. Yeah, really cool to see how he switches his warden game up according to the map. Like We've seen two wardens today on Last Refuge, which is really not uh, normal. Drunken defeated Sonic playing that ward. We thought, okay, yeah, warden on Last Refuge, still not the best, but Foggy played it really well. And man, that was something else. This ultra-aggressive Shadow Priest play... I've seen this before from other players like I think Longwalk tried against Todd, but he failed miserably because Todd just defended it really well. But Foggy here, Shadow Strike, Shadow Strike, Shadow Strike, kill, kill, kill. Just super sick. And yeah, at the end maybe it was a little like trigger, tilted, whatever. Yeah. Um but Hawk played a phenomenal tournament as well. I wonder if you would have played it still that aggressively and that heavily if he had found Ring and Cloak. Probably not, right? Probably he plays this game very different. Yeah. But items are always part of the game. And it's also cool to see how Foggy knows exactly how to play with what he's given. The real MBK 300 bits. Nice. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. That's ESL Cup 19 in the books with a new winner. Congrats to Foggy. It's definitely a good sign. Uh, for Foggy towards the WGL qualifiers, where Hawk and Blade will also participate. We got X-Lord, Edo, and Spiral. And man, this is super promising. Start Saturday, but we have one more open qualifier. We need two more players, and that will be happening on Thursday, 7 p.m. Central European time. You can sign up via challenge.com slash WGLSOpen2. Thank you very much for a lot of support here today, guys.